five books of Moses, the book of Bamidbar, of Numbers. This week we are reading two Torah portions, first Matot and then Masai. At the beginning of Matot, Moses comes and he gathers all of the heads of the tribes, the leaders of each and every tribe, and tells them and instructs them on the laws of vows. Following that, he tells them to go forth, wage war against Midian, and finally, Balak, Kin Balak, as, lo- as well as Bil'am, are both, are both killed. Then more laws to do with the impurity of the dead bodies, the laws of the vessels that they take from them, clean them. I want to read the first verse of our Torah portion. In the Zerashim Shon, points on something quite particular. The verse says as follows, we're in chapter 30, verse 2. Vaidaber Moshe el Rashi HaMatot, Moses speaks to the head of each of the tribes. Livnei Yisrael lemor, to the Jewish people, saying, Zeh HaDavar, this is what we're going to be commanded, Asher Tziva Hashem, that God is going to tell us, and that will be, again, the laws of vows. Rashi pays particular attention to this verse and he says the truth is is all of the prophets were referred to as God as Ko Amar as I quote for you Rashi Rashi says Moshe nitnabe be Ko Amar Hashem katzot halayla that when Moses was instructed by God by midnight or katzot approximately midnight when the plague of the firstborn will take place it says the terminology of Ko Amar Hashem. So too, all the Nevi'im, Rashi continues, Hashem. As well, the Nevi'im, the prophets that for, uh, that followed Moses, that, took, that came after him, they all also were addressed by God as Ko Amar Hashem. However, Mosaf Alehem Moshe Belashon Moses was at a higher level than them, as we see in this week's Torah portion, it says, Zehadavar, this is the matter that Hashem is going to say. So, the Mefarshim all explain this Rashi to teach us that when every other prophet prophesied and said the word of God and shared that with the Jewish people, it was their voice speaking. However, with Moses, Zehadavar teaches us that actually Moses' voice was the Shekhinah speaking out of Moses' very own throat, which is something which was particular and specific to only Moses himself. Now, the Zerashim Shon asks, how is it that Moses reached that level? What did he do? Why did he merit to reach a level that the Shekhinah, that God's very own voice spoke out of his own throat? So the Zer Shimshon quotes one of the famous Kabbalists, Virama Mipano of Italy, to explain this concept, which is a, a known concept to many. It's based on the teachings of the Arizal, that Adam Arishon, when he was the only human being in the world, and even after his wife Hava was created, Nevertheless, all of the Jewish neshamot, all of the Jewish souls, were inside his body. This was prior to the sin of eating from the tree of knowledge. However, after he ate from the tree of knowledge, and God then punished both Adam and Eve, then all of the sparks of Nishamot that was in Adam's body was dispersed around the world and that's why we see nowadays many Yehudim, many Jews which are all over the world, they are picking up the sparks of purity which were scattered all over the world and our Nishamot have that yearning to go and pick up our own sparks of holiness which were scattered. Nevertheless, prior to the sin of eating from the tree of knowledge, each and every neshama was in Adam's body in a physical, yet obviously spiritual way. Now, based on a person's position where their neshama was at the time of the sin of eating from the tree of knowledge, also has a quite different uh, application on each and every soul. 
So for example, those which were very close to the mouth, to the hands, to the eyes, anything which paid attention and anything which played a strong part in actually the sin of eating from the tree of, uh, of knowledge actually had a harder time because they had more enjoyment when they partook from the eating of the fruit as well as the esophagus and the stomach everything had its own its own portion now according to this the Ramami Pano explains that there are two different pipes in the human being's neck there is the trachea and the esophagus the trachea is that pipe that we breathe from it's only air that goes in and out practically in and the esophagus is the food pipe all the food and drink go in and god forbid if any food goes in the trachea then unfortunately that's quite dangerous that's how people choke but nevertheless he explains that moses's soul at the time of the sin of eating from the tree of knowledge was in Adam's very own trachea, the windpipe, and therefore took absolutely no benefit at all when Adam ate from the tree of knowledge. Specifically, Moses' soul went to the trachea in order that it benefits absolutely nothing from that fruit. And because he did so, because at the, that very moment his soul was at the trachea of Adam, he then merited that from his own trachea, from his own throat, is where the Shekhinah, Kadosh Baruch Hu himself, will speak from when he addresses and he prophesizes, speaking the word of God to the Jewish people. Fascinating. So the Zerah Shimshon explains that's why he merited it more than anybody else, because he made sure that his soul would not be in any place any way of a derivative of enjoyment from the sin of Adam Harishon when he ate from the tree of knowledge. I think a very strong lesson we can all learn from this is at times we expect certain things, expect certain things from God specifically, would like to reach certain heights and levels of holiness and maturity even. However, sometimes we don't act the part we don't think like that, we don't act like that, we don't do what we have to be doing in order to fit that dream or that goal that we want. One thing that we can learn from this and specifically from what Moses did was we need to make ourselves a vessel in order to accept the blessing and even the goals and aspirations that we want from God for ourselves. We need to make ourselves ready for it and the way to doing so is setting that goal and then making a way and how to get there. If we want to be a certain level in our learning of Torah, if we want to be at a certain level of our service to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and our tefillah, we need to do things that help us get there and not set us back. By Moses escaping to the trachea, escaping from all enjoyment, that's what made him, as we say in Hebrew, mukhshar, made him ready, eligible, in order to have God's Shekhinah speak directly out of his throat. But if he would not have done so, he would not be able to. If we take this as a lesson, to try to do the right thing, to try to set our very high and lofty goals, but make sure that we are doing things which are conducive to getting towards that goal.